What's going on, y'all? This is Isaiah Fowler, the founder of Suave Eyewear and Suave Agency. And today we got a good episode for you, man. I want to talk about some good stuff. If you are just joining us, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to um, comment on the videos because we be giving you some real game, man. Um, be sure to just continuously keep up with us because next month we got some dope that we about to drop. And uh, you don't want to miss it, right? So if you haven't, um, click the link in the description to uh, join our email list, right? It's, we got the seven days of strategy thing, um, but we about to drop something next month. It's going to be groundbreaking and you do not want to miss it. So with that being said, we have a great episode today. Um, this is a podcast specifically about direct to consumer, right? That's all we talk about, direct to consumer. How are we going to grow our sales, grow our business, um, grow our brand, right? Our brand, but from a perspective of not always doing wholesale, not always feeling like we have to go into stores. How can we continue to foster the community of um, people we have right now in our business that's our customer base? How can we grow them? How can we multiply them, right? And how we, can we continue to get better and better and better? and grow this company right so that's what we talk about on this episode so today i want to ask you a question right how much does it cost you to sell your product i want you to really sit and think about that real quick right ask yourself how much does it cost you to to sell your product number one if you don't know that then we have to figure it out right because as a business owner you should know how much it costs you to uh, sell your product, right? So let's think about it, right? A lot of people, from what I've seen this past year um, and before that too, but a lot of people, all they think about is I made this amount, I spent this amount. That's business. It's not the case, right? Because you want to really break it down into how many first time customers did I get? How many returning customers did I get? Right? How much was my uh, budget? And then out of that budget, how much was being shown to new people? And how much was being shown to people that are warm and or that are already customers, right? You wanna really break down everything. The only way you're gonna really see a full picture in your business is to break down everything. Once you break down everything, you're gonna be very, very, very clear on where you're at in your business, where your business is at, how it's performing, and all of that good stuff, right? So you wanna break that down. So then, now we broke, broke down that revenue, and then we can sit here and say, okay, out of this, you know, let's say you made $20,000 last month, right? Okay, out of this 20,000, um, let's just say 11,000, Let's say 12,000 of it was with, you know, first time customers. Okay. So now we're going to keep going deeper. Now what's your cogs, right? If you don't know what cogs are, we got to, we got to, we got to know these things. We got to know these terms, right? Cost of goods, right? How much does it cost your, you know, for your product? So let's say that your AOV is average order value is, um, not even average order value. Let's say you're selling a product. What's a good product that I could think of? Um, let's say you're selling, um, hats, right? Let's call it hats. And let's say, um, depending on where you're getting them from, right? If you're getting your hats from China, you know, your hats could be less than, uh, you know, less than $3 each. And you could be selling these same hats for $30, $35, $40, $25. It just depends on your brand and depends on how you marketing it. Right? So then, okay. But if you're getting those same hats from, you know, the U.S., it may cost you, you know, seven to ten dollars per unit. Right. So then you got to, you know, how much am I going to sell this product for now? And usually um, people start going overseas if they not already, you know, um, when they just want to get their price down and they start um, doing higher volume. Because when you do higher volume, you could get a lower price per unit. Right. So your COGS is not only your price per unit, but it's a lot of the stuff too, and we're gonna break that down. So 
Now you know, okay, I have a product, I'm selling hats. Number one, right? If you're gonna sell your hats, let's call it $50. Let's say I'm gonna you know, be a little bit more premium. I'm gonna sell my hats for $50. And we're talking about like snapbacks or dad hats or something like that. Number one, you gotta have great quality to be able to do that. But, so now you're like, all right, I'm selling them for 50 and I'm getting them in, let's say the US for, uh, let's call it $8 a unit, right? So you have $8 for the product. But then, um, let's say that you put the hat inside of some type of packaging for presentation, right? And let's say that that box that the hat goes in is... Um, let's say it's a dollar, a dollar fifty, right? So now we're at nine fifty per unit, right? So you got the product, you got the packaging, right? And let's say that you have certain inserts in every product that you ship out. Okay, so if you have a corresponding insert with that product, that's gonna be, um, you know, ten cent or something like that. Let's call it twenty five cent per unit. So now we at 975 per unit, right? Now you want to start thinking about what's your marketing budget. And then you say, okay, if I spent if I spent um if I spent five thousand dollars and we got uh you know this amount of customers, let's say, let's say five thousand, and then you got you know a hundred customers right then you could break that down and then you get something that we're going to call your cac which is your customer acquisition cost right and then you're going to want to add that onto your cogs right so that way when you're doing the numbers in your business you know exactly how much each product is going to cost to move and you'll know what your margin is up front now if you're only doing fifty thousand a year 30,000 a year, 100,000 a year, you may not know what your COGS is just yet. But to have this mindset and to have this understanding from jump, from day one, from the beginning is the most important thing because now you're operating on a higher level mentally, right? Um, the, the episode I just did um, the other day talked about the difference between pre-COVID and post-COVID. Um, you cannot market with Facebook ads from an ROI perspective anymore, right? You can't just focus on how much money did I put out and how much money is coming back. Like that can't be the metric anymore. It never really should have been the metric if you were building a real brand because there's a lot of different things that you should be focused on, but you want to start thinking about that, right? Um, what are the other metrics that are important to my business and to my brand rather than an ROI? Because you could be, you know, you could be getting a, a 3x ROI on your marketing, but you could still not be turning a profit, right? And also you want to ask yourself, you know, is this a break-even month for me? Is this a break-even year for me? Because you could make $3 million and break even and have no profit. But that same year could set you up the next year to, you know what I'm saying, skyrocket your profit and, and really be solid. So it really does depend on, you know, your business model, your product, what your goals are, and things like that. Another thing that you want to think about um, is whatever the price of your product is, there's going to be a, um, a corresponding um, cost that it's going to cost to get somebody to make a purchase. And we're talking really about like doing things like at a, a level of scale. Like when we have a marketing budget and we're trying to really go up, like that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about if you're spending $500 on Facebook ads, like I'm not talking about that because that's going to skew the results and the numbers and stuff like that. I'm talking about, you know, when you start really dedicating, you know, a budget to marketing and you're really trying to grow this business, you know, uh, uh, strategically and methodically and systematically, right? These are the things that you want to think about. Because think about it, right? If you have a product that you're selling for $250 or you have a product that you're selling for 
$50, which product do you think is going to cost more to convince someone to purchase? Right? That's what I mean when I say, you know, number one, how much does it cost to move your product? But also, the higher your product, the price point, the more it's going to cost, the more you're going to have to spend to get someone to purchase a product. For example, if I'm selling, you know, sunglasses, frames, right? It's going to take a lot more for me to get somebody to spend $200 on a pair of lenses or frames than it is to purchase a $30 pair of frames, right? That's why branding is so important because when you start to brand your products and brand your company, you have to do less convincing and then over time, your marketing budget will be less because you've built up the brand and people recognize it and they trust it and therefore, they will tell somebody else, yeah, you should buy that product. I rock with that brand. I like buying from them. They ship out fast. Um, their product is great. They have great customer service. I love the brand. I love what the brand stands for. I love the mission. You know what I'm saying? I love how they communicate with us. All of that stuff, right? This is why you have to build the brand because what you don't want is you don't want a whole, um, you don't want your marketing budget to be sky high because you're always trying to uh, figure out how to, you're always trying to figure out like how to like just make the most amount of money. You don't want to do that. You want to be focused on how can I build the best brand? And as a result of you building the best brand, you're going to make a, a shit ton of money, right? And that shit ton of money may not come, you know, tonight, next week, next month, but I look at everything as a setup, right? Everything I do is a setup for the next. Because you don't want your energy to um, go to waste. You don't want to do something and then have to keep doing something new every single you know, time, every single week, every single month, all because you, um, you aren't being strategic and you aren't setting things up, right? Every move that you make should be setting you up for the next move. So that way, every move that you make is like an advancement from your previous move. But if you're operating like, you know, I'm just doing stuff, that's why you're always going to be tired. You're always going to be um, overworked and these different things. You don't want that. But you want to know and understand Okay, I have a, a more expensive product. In your mind, you need to accept that. Okay, it's most likely going to take more money for me to have to get a volume of people, you know what I'm saying, people at scale, to buy this product. Complete strangers. I'm not talking about the people that you know. I'm not talking about the people that have been watching you for two, three years. I'm talking about if we're building a business and we have a marketing budget, right, and we want to start uh, spending money on advertising to grow this company, what is our, you know what I'm saying, what is that going to cost us? And these are things that you have to start to look at. So when I'm looking at a business, I'm looking at that from the beginning. Even if we don't go that way immediately, I'm looking at it from the beginning, right? That's why AOV is so important. That's why price per product is so important. Um, that's why, you know, knowing your demographic is important. Your customer profile is important because without these things, you don't have uh, a grasp on your business and you also don't have a direction and a vision for your company as well. So how can you market your business if you don't know these things right here? This is why I always preach um, strategy. Strategy is like what everybody needs that they don't think that they need because they can't see it, but it's the most valuable thing. Why do you think people are always having meetings? Meetings are strategy, right? So you really want to ask yourself, how much does it cost to sell my product, right? besides your cogs like that's just the beginning of how much it's going to cost to sell your product so you might see once you run all the numbers um you know the price to sell your product is 2.5x of what you initially thought it was because you were only counting the cogs which is just the product you know the product cost and when you run these numbers and when you do these numbers 
you get a much better understanding of your business. And you'll see that your business can be more profitable than you thought or less profitable than you thought. And you're going to have to start figuring out how you're going to increase those profits and those margins. Right. So that's what I wanted to say today. That's the episode. Um, how much does it cost for you to move your, your, your inventory or for you to move a product, right? You want to know that price like down to the penny. And it's always going to be something that, um, that you know, it's a constant. And this is not a, oh, I know the number now and that's it. Like, no, because things in your business are going to change consistently every week, every month, every day, honestly. And so you're always going to have to keep a, you know what I'm saying, a pulse to that. But you want to have that in mind and be thinking about that if you're really trying to take this business to the to the to the real, real, real level of like, you know, what I'm saying going up and going vertical. So that's the episode today, man. That's the 65th episode of the Starts with a Vision podcast. So um, if you rock with this, drop something in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know, you know, what your feedback is. Hit me up on IG or whatever. Subscribe to the channel. Always remember everything you do in life. It starts with a vision. Peace.